So, why did it take me so long to deal with my depression? Quite simply, pride. And as a man, admitting I have depression can be admitting weakness. And we're still in a society where men are not supposed to admit to weakness. I'm an intelligent man. Many call me quite intelligent. I'm capable, I'm able. I seem to have everything going for me. Admission to depression is admitting that I have some sort of weakness. And I should be able to overcome it. I mean, over the years, I've had people tell me, get over it. Just uh, be happy. Go out and exercise. Do something to make you feel better. And so my pride takes over, or took over, saying, well, why can't I deal with this? Why can't I fix this? And that ultimately was the killer thing. And this pride meant that by age 51, two failed marriages behind me. I have four kids, but I haven't been the father I should have been for them or could have been for them. My career is a shambles on a good day. Certainly went bad enough, left me homeless. Um, and now I'm trying to rebuild. But the rebuilding can only start when I completely gave up the last of the pride that I had and admitted that I have severe depression. And that is the hardest thing to do. And the only way to move forward is for me to talk about this. That's why the Bell Let's Talk Day, in combination of the vlogging, very much what my vlogs are. So I need to talk about it more. The more I talk about it, the better I will do.